this is your girl Kerlinda over here with your Real Naturals bringing you another awesome video in the Lather Lounge where we can laugh and get lathered. Now today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making us some rose facial oil. Alright, so some of you uh, know about rose oil, the rose hip oil and all the great benefits. Well today I'm going to show you how I make my oil. Now with that in mind I want you to sit back, relax, let's have us a little chit chat and talk while we move right along. Long. All right, so what we have here, I'm going to just show you all a few things. What I have in this bowl is I have all of my dried rose petals. Before I get started putting my rose petals in my bottles, I like to go through and see how this rose petal right here is a little big. I like to take them and crush them up a little bit with my hands just to kind of make sure that I get um, as many of the bigger pieces refined as possible. And make them smaller because I really love the yummy, yummy goodness of roses inside of my rose oil. Honey, we don't hold back with this rose oil, with the roses, okay? We do not hold back with the roses in this oil. We let a girl do what it do. Because with our oils, we don't put any fragrance in it. So with not putting fragrance in it, the oil takes on the uh, smell of the roses as it sits, okay? So now I'll set that there. Now what I have here already mixed in my squirt bottle is my combinations of oils. I have like rose hip oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, almond oil, olive oil, and the like in here. So what I usually do is I just make a big batch of it and then I pour it off into my little squeeze bottles. Now these bottles right here, guys, is a bottle that you can get like from the, um, I got this one from the Dollar Tree actually. So you can just pick them up. This is the con bottles but you can use it as a squeeze bottle and when I make a big batch of oil so that I stay consistent with everything because I sell so many of these I don't have like the little um, pump machine because for me it's not a necessary right now and I like doing things by hand and then I'm going to take them all and put them in these one ounce bottles along with our uh dropper that we're going to be putting on the inside so let's go ahead and get started making this rose oil all right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is I take my bottles, I take a good palm full of the uh, rose petals, put them in my hands like this, and then I just take them and push them down in the bottle like so, okay? Now, if you ever get some where you have the little bud, all you do is kind of take your finger and put it in there. Uh, as you can see, I have on gloves. But what I like is the fact that I have this um, sterile. This is a sterile pad that I use. And when I'm done with them, I just throw them away. Most of the time, you can um, find these like in a medical supply place or hospital supply or whatever. That way, um, you know you know where I got these from. Because some people be like, where did you get those from? That's where I get them at. You can get them at a medical supply place. Uh, somewhere like a drugstore or something like that and I put about this much roses in guys like I said I don't hold back on the roses I really love uh, the smell of the roses and one thing about this oil is the more roses you put in it not to overdo it but the more roses you put in it the more potent your uh, formula is with your uh, oils the more fragrant it becomes I should say the more fragrant the uh, smell becomes um, as it sits and because this is sterile you can just pick up your rose petals and put them back in your bowl or you can just pick them up and work with them right and every now and then I just check just to make sure that I have enough uh, rose petals in my bottles and I keep continuing on with this process guys until I have all of my bottles filled now this one right here I'm just making a small batch um, but you know, ordinarily, sometimes I make really big batches where a couple hundred at the time I'm gonna work my way up to making a couple thousand at the time. But right now, I'm just grateful for what I have, so we're gonna roll with that. All right, so again, we just finished putting these on in here. Check it, that's not enough, y'all. I'm kind of OCD when it comes to putting these roses in here, okay. Yes, my OCD really kick in because it has to be the right amount. You know, especially when you're when you have your customers used to something, right? You want to make sure that they get the same quality every time. Speaking of which, guys, and speaking of quality and customer service, let's chit chat for a little while. 
So, I know that there are many of you out there who really, really, really love your rose oil and y'all have to have it. And you know the benefits that it does for your skin and the beauty that it takes and everything for you. But guys, you know, when it comes to the customer service of peace, especially when it's like a supply and demand thing of your customers who are wanting products and stuff we have to be mindful y'all that these people are the ones who are running our business and i so appreciate every each and every one of my customers because all of you out there you guys are the heart of my business you are the best part of my business because guess what the one thing that i always remember without you there is no me guys if y'all hear that noise in the background that's my son playing with his father they are playing with trucks in the living room i'm back here in my soap room so you guys are with me in the lather lounge so if you hear that noise please excuse the noise that's mr grayson y'all get to meet him one day he's only a year old but i tell you what that little personality right there that little boy he's a blessing to my life i tell you he was my surprise baby that's a whole nother story we'll have some story time for that okay then y'all get to know me a little personally but anyways, back to what I was saying. So when you're talking about your customers and the whole customer service piece, guys, we want to really make sure that we are mindful. That's a little too much, y'all, so I got to shake that out. We want to make sure that we are mindful of how we treat people. Um, because, you know, here's one thing about business. I've worked in corporate America for a long time. And here's the one thing that I know. If a person comes to your business and they have a good experience, they might tell four, five, ten people. But honey, if they come to your business and they have a bad experience, baby, you best believe they're going to tell everybody and their grandma, okay? They will tell about four, five hundred people, twenty, thirty people, fifty people, whatever. Like, mm -mm, don't go over there. They, you know, they, they're not wrong. Cause, so we have to remember how we treat people. You know, I, I see some things out on the internet where it really just grieves me and grieves my spirit how some people just, you know, have complaints and just talk about their experience with different companies and whatever and whatnot when it comes to them being able to get their um, oils and get responses and stuff like that. I try not to be that person over here at Your Real Naturals. Yes, we are a small company, but with us being a small company, we always, always, always pride ourselves with that whole customer service piece, knowing that, again, our customers are the heart of your business. And without you, there's no reason for us to do what we're doing, because guess what? What are you going to do? Take all these products and sit on them? And, you know, just as we build our business, we want to keep our business flowing. Y'all see that? That's what we're looking for. Just as we build our business, we want to keep our business flowing, flowing to a capacity that says, you know, our, our customers love us enough to be able to share us with their friends and family because they want their friends and family to have a positive experience also. So, you know, that's one of those things that we say, you know, kudos to you guys for being the best part um, of what we do. And, and you guys give us the drive that we need to keep going. You know, you all know that we make soaps and candles and many different things. So this is not our one sole product, but this is one of our best selling products. And this is one of the products in our body line that actually our rose oil is our number one selling product in our body line um, next to our solid lotions. So, you know, we, we deal with a different array of people from different walks of life who want products for different reasons. Um, and we're always happy for that. And we're happy for the relationships that we build. So now for those of you, speaking of relationships, for those of you who just came on to my video and this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Lather Lounge and thank you so much. If you have not already done so, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified when we, um, put up videos of our products you know sometimes we'll put up videos just to chit chat or whatever i do have another channel Curlinda can cook so you all make sure you check that out as well um i'll leave the link in the in the uh, description below for you for you to be able to check that out but for those of you who are into cooking i love 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 to cook outside of crafting and making products 
that is my second best love, the thing that I love to do. I love being in the kitchen. So there you go um, with that. So, yeah, guys, as you see, we're almost done. But with our bottles, we've pretty much filled them all up with the same amount of rose petals in it. And that's very important to me, filling them up. See that staying consistent because, again, when you get a product, you want to know what to expect. Whether you're getting the product for yourself or getting the product as a gift for somebody, you want to um, know that you can expect that you're going to receive a quality product that's all packaged. And what you saw the first time, you'll be able to see it again because we replicate the process. That's one reason why I like to do this by hand as well because... I'm able to see it. I've done it so many times repetitiously that I kind of know what I'm looking for. And, um, you know, that whole quality piece stays there. But, yeah, guys, when we're talking about our customers, we want to make sure that we're mindful, that we're treating our customers with dignity, respect, honoring them. You know, and knowing that when our customer have a problem, that we're there to answer it. Because you guys trust us. You trust us with your money. You're trusting us with your life. You're trusting us with your skin. And again, we want you to be able to trust us enough that you introduce us to your friend and your family. That's how businesses grow. That's how word of mouth spread, you know. We're also on Instagram and Twitter, guys. You can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Your Real Naturals also. Um, same handles. We're on Facebook, Your Real Naturals Bath and Body Boutique, for those of you who have not been following us over there. So, there you go. That's how you find us online. Y'all see that? So, when we look at it, this can go a little more because some of those petals are small. See, y'all, my OCD kicking in again, right? Just push that down in there like so. And now, when it's all said and done, y'all, when it's all said and done, what I do is I can move this out of the way. Now, I'll sweep up as much of these as I can and put them back in my bowl. Because, obviously, this is sterile, so these are still usable. And I will be using them in my next batch. Like I said, this batch is a small batch. That way, if any oil leaks, it'll leak on the pad and not on my roses. Right? So, here we go. What we're doing is we have it, and this is a one-ounce bottle. Again, I've done this enough so I know where to stop it. And there you go, guys. That is a beautiful bottle of rose oil. So, whenever I put it in this uh, bottle, in this squeeze bottle, this squeeze bottle makes enough to fill up um, at least 14 bottles. Right now, I'm only filling up 12, so I have a little bit left in this bottle once I'm done. But yeah, guys, we want to be mindful. We want to remember who the heart of our business is. We want to remember all, at all times that we don't get too cocky. We don't get too beside ourselves because, you know, people will tell their bad experiences they have, they will tell their good experiences they have. And just like people like fall in love with you, they will fall out of love with you too if they feel like they're being mistreated. So for those of you who are in business, especially those of you who are new to business, just keep that in mind when you're rolling and as you're growing. And be proud of yourself. Be proud of your product and be proud of all that you have accomplished in your journey. Every part of your journey is another testimony. So you want to make sure that you are um, having that as successful as possible and making it being as meaningful as possible for those who follow you so you all can go right on the journey right together all right so y'all can see i'm filling these up look at it that is so pretty y'all that is so so pretty So what do y'all think? Now, I know y'all see me making this rose oil. What else y'all have out there that you all like y'all want to see me make? I'm going to be posting up a, a rose sugar scrub video here shortly as well. I have to make some rose petal sugar scrubs, of course, and the bath bombs. Soon I'm going to be making a um, charcoal soap that goes along with these that you can use uh, to cleanse your skin with that soap the charcoal soap is really good 
for uh, problematic skin as well. Proco soap is also good for men who shave to keep uh, reduction of the razor bumps. So y'all see, I see y'all see me putting the tops on them. But you see how the roses are all floating around in there? When you look at this one, this one, and this one, you can see you pretty much have the same amount of roses in your product. And that's what we're looking for is the consistency piece um, in that. Because we don't want to skimp at all. And it smells so good and fragrant when the uh, oil takes on the rose uh, fragrance of the natural rose usually I try to make these ahead of time so they've sat for a couple weeks already before um, the batch is ready to ship out just so that they can have some potency and you can see results uh, expeditiously when you use the product so I am very excited about that there's my Grayson again y'all well, guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as I mentioned, if you have not done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Like us. Shout us out on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Share us with your friends. Share us with your family. All of that good stuff. All right. So that we'll be able to uh, grow right together. I look forward to seeing your comments down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and um, put them down below. Or you can send me a direct message on Instagram and I'll be sure to reply to you. But there you go, guys. That is my rose facial oil. Our Glow Diva, honey. Glow Diva. Are you ready to glow, Diva? I just can't thank you guys enough for supporting your real naturals. We've been around for the last six years. As some of you may know, I've said in a previous video um, or somewhere on social media, I was locked out of my account, y'all, for six years because I could not remember which email I had it attached to when I originally set it up. But look, I'm back. Your girl is back in the Lather Lounge and we are making some goody, 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 goodies. All right, guys, I'm out. Love you, love you, love you. Happy Thursday. As for all of my lather lovers, all of my ladies, my gentlemen, all of you all, it's time to get bubbly, all right? Let's get bubbly over here. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.